Savage. What's the rest of that? Uh, classy, bougie, ratchet. There you go, James. There you go. That Ross. song is everywhere right now. It's Queen right now. Bay. No, you're one, like one. on mom schedule with TikTok. Nope. I have to let you know that it's not TikTok. On it this is one. TikTok. I'm gonna take the audio version of this. Okay. The Beyonce remix is playing on every single radio station on fucking repeat because of. The TikTok. I understand that. But that was a brand new version that just came out six days ago. Mm -hmm. So within the last six days, mm -hmm. because of Quain Bay, mm -hmm. um, the Beyonce version specifically okay. is on every single station. I don't even know what the original sounds like anymore. That's how many times I've heard the Beyonce version at this point. Okay. I mean, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. No. Not it's been crazy, dude. It's been crazy. The Megan B. Stallion. The amount of times that I original. have heard Savage. Da -da, yeah. da -da, like the amount of times has been so fucking long that now I'm just like, okay. Like we're already the fucking original. tired of it. Yeah, yeah, yes. We're, we are. Do you know what I mean? Like we're already tired of it. You're like, okay, Beyonce, cool. Like, but really honestly. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's Beyonce and she's steamrolling everyone right now. Like, sure. Because it's Beyonce and they don't have anything else from anybody right now. Yeah. They are playing that remix over and over and over again. Exactly. I heard it three times on the way to work today on three different stations. Exactly. I almost know the words. And I, again, I don't know the original anymore because of, of Beyonce. The original is kind of like that, though. Kind of. But that, if you don't feel my pain, you know, jumping into my jeans line, mm -hmm. like that has become a fucking girl anthem now where you're just yeah. like all right yeah. congratulations mm -hmm. does she write that probably not no probably not i'm guessing that was probably in the uh original. jay z it's probably in the original well it's a rap it's in the middle right yeah so it's it's its own verse she has her own verse in so it? Oh, okay yes she has two now so half of it's megan the stallion the other two are beyonce verses okay. i think jay z wrote it hmm. that's my guess it's too good yeah. It's interesting to say. If you were married to Jay-Z, wouldn't you just pop on over in bed and just say, hey, eh, I'm doing this remix of this fucking TikTok Did song? Did he write all of her other rap? That's what I'm curious about. Oh. So in the past, I know this, like, because uh, buddies, my buddy's girlfriend wrote If I Were a Girl. Yeah. So I don't know that she writes any of her shit, to be honest with you. Yeah, she probably doesn't. Right? Yeah. Like, there's only a couple of them, like T-Swift and... Uh, Even T-Swift doesn't write. Well, All she has a stuff. she has a, a dude, right? Mm -hmm. So the two of them work on shit together. After watching that doc, though, I will say this: like, it, it's a team, and they go back and forth. Right. Um, Katy Perry does not. No, but I don't um, even think she makes any like. No, she's the kind of person that's like, yeah, I have a ghostwriter. Like, fuck you. Not I'm even, more of like not even a ghostwriter. The, the the woman gets credit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's a big deal in, in the publishing world. Um, but uh, yeah, man, fucking three times. On the way to work on three different stations. But they're dead. There's nothing else out there. Right. There's nothing else out there. Welcome, everyone, to the show. We're going live on the used tubes right around nooner every single day. Great to see all your smiling faces. I'm, I'm assuming they're smiling watching it right now. Um, they have to be. Let's give some shouts outs to people. Who, are, who was first today, Jamie? Uh, Craig. Uh, no, I don't think it was. Who was it? Let's see. Come. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why, why lie about it? You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, no. I think it was Craig. Yeah, it was Craig. Yeah, Craig Dulesky. Craigers was in there first, you know? Yeah. J Jamie just lying about shit. Oh, yeah. I think it was so-and-so. No. Was no, dude. Right. No. <laughs> he said I thought. <laughs> just fucking telling 
telling lies outside of school. Woo! Craigers, I'm sorry. Welcome to the room, buddy. Uh, you were first in today, and uh, and I'm proud of you. Uh, who else is in? Who else? Who else we got in here, Jabes? We've got Rubes. We've got Rihanna. Rihanna, sorry. Yeah, Reed White. We learned that it's not Rihanna. It's Rihanna. Well. The Hawk. Nico the Greco. Rusty Shackelford. I really sincerely hope that's his real name because that's the greatest goddamn name of all time. This is a new one, Rusty, is it? I, or have you seen him in it here may before? It or may not be, but Rusty Shackelford deserves to be sh- shouted out like this because <laughs> I see ru- a guy like Rusty Shackelford. Right. Only doing Penny from behind, you know? Like, only doing porn, like doggy style porn, and that's it. Penny from behind. Penetration. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, Reed, Topher, Jacob Nickel, Rick Ben. Welcome, kids. Welcome. Where's the girls? Where's the girls? Where's the girls? David at? Martinez girls, is up in this. Where's the girls? Where's the girls? Where's the girls? Yeah. Richard uh, Dinoff, obviously. Thank you, Richard. Big Dick Dinoff. Go ahead and uh, slam that uh, thumbs up here. Oh, on, Brittany, on YouTube what up, girl? So there you are, the, Brittany. Uh, algorithm. And uh, to everybody who's been writing reviews and rating the show on iTunes, huge thank you. We're over a thousand right now. Um, keep just rating it a five star and uh, and uh, give it a quick review. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're good to go. It helps us. Uh, Jack up the charts, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to get real jacked up. I'm jacked up today, Jabes. Yeah, I could tell. Real hot today. Real hot. What's uh, what's going on? Are you just happy you don't live in California? Whew. <laughs> Boss. I, so I, I've been writing the third, third uh, St. James book uh, late, real late at night. And we're obviously on a three-hour delay from, from California, right? Right. So last night, as I was writing, all of this shit's coming in, and I was like, eh, that can't be true. Yeah. Like, this can't be true. Um, it started in the afternoon yesterday, where California yay said, mm, shut her on down for another three months, bud. August Through 1st. Through the summer. The entire Can summer. You, to me, from everything we know, that's not going to do much. But we also know <laughs> what? I just think there's going to be a riot at some point. But here's the other thing is like we know that if you let people out for the summer when the virus gets killed and heat and all of this shit, mm-hmm. you cannot then tell them to go back in. Do you know what I mean? No. So they just have to extend it because there's no way. Um, Danielle, stop. A- either stop way. Girl. What's up? Either way. I didn't see you. Um, there is no way. Californians are going to put up with this bullshit. And I'm telling you right now, this weekend, it's going to be in the 80s. The beaches open up today around nooner for exercise only. Don't hang out in groups. Keep uh, six feet apart and uh, don't bring chairs or surfboards. Or... Fuck that, dude. It is going to be spring break 88 up in that bitch come a Friday. Uh, I've I've lived there. I I know what the fucking rules are for shit, and there's this weird sense of entitlement in L.A. where you feel above the law and you just don't fucking care when you're at a breaking point, right? Yeah. Uh, I you know, we lived uh, in Marina Del Rey, right at the beach, right there for fuck man. My office was right there in Venice um, for years. Uh, I I don't even know how many years. Um, but there was this thing of like, oh, you can't walk your dog on the beach and blah blah blah. And it was like, motherfucker, I live here. You know, mm-hmm. I'm going to walk my dog on the beach. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember there was a cop who was just like, I'm going to write you. A Is ticket. that a metaphor for something? What's that? Walking your dog on the beach. Uh, or you, you're, you, you're literally walking your dog. It on used the beach. to be. Yeah, it used to be. Uh, what I did would, it mean back in the day? I used to tie a little tiny piece of fishing wire around my penis. No, and then no, walk no. that across a desk. And then it looked like it was doing it on its own because you couldn't see the fishing wire. I thought it was like when you got caught like doing something blowing a dude yeah and and you're just like i was just walking my dog on the beach it's something like this <laughs> no. right gosh i can't remember it was so long ago <laughs> but um it's something like that where walking your dog on the beach doesn't really mean walking your dog on a beach no you know I mean? no no it doesn't. this this one I actually did oh sure i was actually walking my dog on the beach mm-hmm. right and they were like oh it's illegal not blowing a dude no and I'm i just mean trying to, sorry i'm just trying to make I, sure i would blow a dude if if I deemed it necessary, you know, okay. like, oh, hey, like if some guy came up to me on the beach when I was walking my actual dog and he was just like, hey, man, really tough times, man. Mm-hmm. I've, uh, uh, my wife broke up with me. 
we're in the middle of a nasty divorce. Mm-hmm. You throw me a beige. Just mm-hmm. throw me a fucking beige. Eh, sure. If he was honest about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want any fucking tomfoolery about it. I don't mm-hmm. want you to hold up a sign saying I'm homeless and I need a beach, like because I'm right. homeless. Like, no, dude, just tell me you want cigarettes and beer. Then I'll give you some cash. Same with a beach, dude. You know, you want to say, oh, I'm fucking this or that or whatever. I can't come out of the closet yet. So my, my friends and family, I, I need a blowjob. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. Just ask for a fucking beach. I'll throw you one. Right? right. Then I'll walk your fucking dog. Right. While I'm walking mine. It's like that uh, documentary, Abducted in Plain Sight. Did you ever see it? Goddamn right it did. Lived it. Lived it. Yeah. Three years so anyways, of my life, I can't anyways, the guy that, um, <laughs> that was abducting the girl, mm-hmm. he groomed the parents by getting the the dad yeah to give him a hand job uh, and sleeping with the mom on separate occasions so that they both had secrets mm-hmm. that like they didn't want this guy to tell yeah so that he could just like take their kid <laughs> but it was a meme going around for a while of the dad like he said he was really stressed out like that yeah it's like this old guy <laughs> that yeah. doesn't seem like he would do he's like he was stressed what was i supposed to do it looked like a stock photo of like Getty images of a dad where you're just like, oh, God, mm-hmm. it could be anybody's dad mm-hmm. out there giving HJs to people where you're just like, Jesus Christ. You just need a little help. Yeah, need a little help. Uh, but but with the dog sitch, <laughs> sure. uh, I, I walk that fucker and every night they were like, the you're going to get fined. Dog, yeah. You're going to get fined. You're going to get <laughs> fined. Finally, a police officer did stop me and was just like, hey, man, what's up with the dog on the beach? You know, very right. like matter of fact. Right. And I was like, oh, I- I'm sorry. I just don't care. Yeah. And he seemed shocked by it. He was mm-hmm. just like, wait, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, 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 I know. It's like a $250 fine or something or whatever. But I was like, I've been doing this for probably six months at this point. So if you want to write me a ticket, that's fine. It's almost like me paying to walk my dog on the beach for $250 for, for six months. Like, mm-hmm. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you feel like that in California. There's some weird sense of it where you're just like, Man, there's so much fuckery going on in California that you're like, meh, I'm over it. What's the fine? What's the thing? I'll just do that. Um, and then the cops seemed surprised by it. The next time, so he didn't write me a ticket. <laughs> the next one did, and I told him the same story. Mm-hmm. And I was like, meh, I just don't care. Right. Wrote me a ticket, and he was like, well, I'm going to be out here again, and if you do this, you're going you're gonna to get another ticket. And I was like, that's cool. I'll mm-hmm. take my chances, and maybe mm-hmm. I'll see you soon. What's your name? Mm-hmm. Asked him for his name. Sure enough, ran into that guy two months later, wrote me another ticket, but it was worth it. Right. That's L.A. So I'm telling you, this weekend, that is going to be L.A. If you think that the the cops are going to patrol the beach and write tickets for people who aren't six feet apart or not partying or, you know, rapping about life on on picnic blankets and drinking fucking Trulies together. Sure. There's no way. Mm -hmm. And you can't enforce that. There's not enough police that are going to be on those beaches to enforce the madness that is going to go on this weekend. And I can tell you in advance, today is Wednesday. By Friday afternoon, on Twitter and, and Instagram and all your Facebook feeds, you're going to see all your friends from California posting these pictures, and it's going to be half and half. Half the people are going to say, eh, I don't give a shit. Fuck it. Uh, and the other half are going to be like, oh, my God, these people are ruining it for everybody. We're going to be stuck inside our houses for the rest of our lives. Mm-hmm. And it's going to turn into a huge shit show as yeah. of this weekend. Yeah. It's just that mental barrier that they put out yesterday, that California put out, said three more months. Yeah. And people are pissed. Like, take Brendan Schaub, for example, right? Friend of the show. We've had him on Drinking Bros, uh, obviously in Range 15 and everything. He's pretty neutral when it comes to posting shit like this. Yesterday was his breaking point where mm-hmm. he was just like, really? Is this what we're going to fucking do now? Mm-hmm. Um. And it, there's starting to be a division between blue state governors and red states. Shortly after California announced it's, it's bullshit that we're shutting down for three months, right. Arizona hopped on in the fray and just said, ah, guess what? We're open for business for everything, including sports. Sports yeah. can continue. Gyms are open. Restaurants are open. Everything we have in the state of Arizona is now open. And it's almost like the governor looked at what was going on in California and said, well, these motherfuckers are going to flee. Yeah. What's the closest state? Arizona. Come on in. We'll be happy to take those tax mm-hmm. dollars. Mm-hmm. You can boost the shit out of our economy while yours goes into the goddamn toilet. Right. Um, so that started yesterday right around the five-ish area. Mm-hmm. I texted my friends who were still living in L.A. and I was just like, hey, hey guys, 
you're kind of fucked here what's, yeah. for what's going on. Because that's going to shut down everything, including the entertainment industry, which is going to affect all of us. Netflix, Hulu, all that other shit. Right. Um, and the, the first response from, from one of my friends was, it's not, it's not true. It's just a fake news headline. I don't believe it. And I was like, hey, bro, is the headline of the, the LA Times today. So I think you better start believing it because I think shit is going to change drastically real quick for you. Sure. That text was about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Eastern, our time, right after the 5 o'clock announcement and blah, 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 blah. Right. right. Later on that night, as I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, fuck, I wonder what else is going to shut down. Because if you're going to shut down your city, you're going to have to shut down your colleges because L.A. has got a lot of colleges. Mm. Boom. That was the next domino to fall. Cal State's Fullerton, all California universities are shut down. And then I was like, well, fuck. If you're shutting down all of those schools, what's that going to do for USC, UCLA, and college football? Because mm-hmm. that is, and, and, and none of that but college basketball. You cannot expect kids to not go to classes and expect the athletes to play football. Mm. There's, there's no world that, that that can exist, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and sure enough, that's what happened. Right around the midnight area, 1 a.m., a, a, a report leaked out that just said USC because USC is supposed to open up the college football season against Alabama mm-hmm. in Jerry World in the in the dome in Dallas. Alabama is looking to replace them, and the report leaked out that the Pac-12 is silently looking to play all of its games in in conference. Meaning, and this is not a football story, James. This is a state story now. Meaning, was Washington and Oregon will probably shut down for the rest of the fall as well as far as schools go Mm -hmm. and the summers and that's it you're kind of fucked in that Mm -hmm. so what we're going to see over the next i would say four to six months is almost like some sort of civil war between the states Mm -hmm. where which states are open which states aren't and then you're going to have the citizens start to fight back and it's going to get fucking nasty yeah um especially as this heat starts creeping up on everyone yeah. And I don't I don't know what's going to happen. And part of me now is starting to think it's political at this point. Yeah. Rush Limbaugh did a he was on this morning um, and I, I don't listen to Rush Limbaugh. So r- relax. Uh, but he ha- his in his morning show this morning. This this quote's been going around of of how he thinks because of the way this is lining up of who's opening up and who's not. Mm hmm. It's essentially blue state governors versus red state governors. Mm. And have they given up on Biden and saying, all right, the only way to possibly get our candidate in there, it's not Biden himself. Right. It's just to crash the fucking economy. And let's let's go for it now. Oh, I, I do. I do think there that's part of it. Do you? Because yeah. I always I, I thought and I never wanted to say this on the show. I didn't know. To me, that was too big of a con- conspiracy theory well, to wrap my mind around. But now, the way that it's lining up, and in particular last night with Arizona and California, I was like, it seems like this is what's happening. Well, everything that I listen to, I so I watch the news at night, news in the morning, mm-hmm. listen to uh, the daily. Yep. So I feel like from those three, depending on which channel you're on, um, you kind of get every perspective and every single one was like the one thing that Trump had going for him was the economy and that's not and he doesn't have that anymore. And so it's like Correct. every time they're talking about the pandemic, they add that into it, which I I mean, when you're actually talking about the virus, there's no reason to be talking about Donald Trump's big the only thing he had and the thing that he doesn't have anymore shouldn't have anything to do with politics it doesn't have anything to do with like masks or how Mm. long we're gonna you know what i mean so Mm -hmm. the fact that that's being thrown into literally every uh conversation and you know that you know people like hold on to especially closer and closer to elections they kind of hold on to these like phrases like smoking gun or da 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 and you just like hear these things over and over and over Mm -hmm. So that's been one of them that I'm just like, what? It'll be like in the middle of a story about like how many deaths there are. And you're like, what? Why are we talking? Yeah. 
Why are we talking it's about these that? Slow inserts, like these yeah. these subtle inserts that you're like, wait, what? But the other thing I can't wait to see is, <laughs> so California was the most like alone together. We're alone together. Just calm down. We'll get through this. Right. And I'm going to love to see the transition of rioting together or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like, it's like we're alone together. Like, guys, whatever. You know, Chrissy Teigen on the piano and John Legend playing. And they're just like, we're alone together. We're fine, guys. Like, don't worry. And then that whenever it is, I don't actually think it's going to be this weekend. I don't think it'll be in a couple weeks. Right. That hard shift of like, no. <laughs> We're not alone together anymore. You know what I mean? Alone. <laughs> like, uh, we're You're just, just hashtag alone. We're just alone and it sucks and I'm getting out of here. Yeah. Um, and, and the other thing that, that happened yesterday in California in particular, uh, there's a House of Representative seat that is open, um, was open. And they had, a, they had to have the special election for it yesterday. It was a Democrat. Mm -hmm. And it flipped to a Republican in Los Angeles and Ventura County. That was the... Uh, the the borders for sure. for this uh, this this seat in the house, and I was like, huh, you don't see that very often. Is this a precursor to come? And is everybody tired of the bullshit? I don't know, man. Um, but I, don't know. I mean, we'll see. But to me, I say this for college football fans: let's cut the Pac-12 out of all of this shit that is encompassing all of those schools on the coast like that. Deal with your own bullshit. You were never fucking good at football in the last 10 years anyways. You were never competing for a national championship. Any one of your fucking bullshit schools, Oregon, UCLA, USC, none of you guys have competed realistically for a championship in the last 10 years. Oregon did. They played against Ohio State and you got stomped uh, for the national championship. Nuke them. Nuke them for the fucking year and let everybody get on with their goddamn business. Because I can tell you what. That first opening game that Alabama's playing in Jerry World, you think that's going to stop Alabama and Jerry Jones from putting on the first college football game of the year? Not a fucking prayer, bud. There will be teams lined up to play Alabama. Uh, so USC, I'm going to use Dan's like, you can get fucked. That whole conference can get fucked. So can that state. It's time to, look, they've wanted forever to make it, it itself its own country. Mm -hmm. Now's the time. Make it your own goddamn country because you're going bankrupt. Uh, and for the next 90 days, how are you going to pay for that? And right. is it that the rest of us, everybody else who's going back to work around the country, is, is that money and that federal tax money going to go and pay for fucking California now? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that, that can possibly keep that state aflo afloat financially. I'm on fire today, by the way. Yeah. Um, that is the only thing that can keep them going. Mm hmm is is for us to pay for that bullshit. So at what point do you cut it off? At what point does Trump come out and say, hey, man, you guys want to wait three more months? Fuck you. We're just cutting it off. Um, because he's going to lose that state anyways. Right. Doesn't even matter. Oh, that'd be cool. And they've already said we're, <laughs> and that's not even until November, but they've already declared we're doing mail-in voting mm -hmm. for, for the president for uh, 2020 anyways. Who cares? I'm just worried about. You lost that state. I'm just worried about my dad because his uh, brewery down the street is not opening back up. So I'm just worried. I'm not. And I'll tell you why. I think that brewery and people like your dad will go down, go down there, camp out and say, fuck it, man. We'll sit in the parking no, lot and drink unfortunately, beers. Unfortunately, my dad is not that motivated, which the is the The only problem. thing he's passionate about in no, this life true. is that's Topa, true. the beer house. If they were having a sit-in <laughs> in the parking lot, like, he would go to that. Yes. Um, it'd be hard to get him to anything else, like, that I'm doing well, there's, or there's baby shower or something this like this. But, yeah, he will go to that parking lot. Shout out that brewery. Topa Topa. There you go. Topa Topa. Um, if you remember, during the wildfires, he, got, he, he had to evacuate. He got in his RV, and where did he go? He went to the parking lot of Topa. <laughs> So that he was right where he needed to be and was like, dude, if my house burns down, like, I'm fucking good. Yeah. Like, do admire that about my dad. Like, he really would be totally fine. Yeah. If he, if the house burned down and he just lived in an RV yeah. outside Topa. <laughs> He'd be fine. To be so simple. Be great, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be great? Be amazing. I'm trying to get to. Honestly, I am trying to get to well, that. Well, here's the thing. Like, look, because your, your dad's of all this, worked, he's worked yeah, his yeah. entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, so is mine. Like, dude, there's no kids in the house. 
What do you fucking care? The, yes, the only thing in your life that you should be amped about is oh Yankee, my God, yes. Yankees baseball yeah. for him. Yep. And Topa Topa. Yeah. That's it. That's a that's a that's a great life. That's a great retirement. Absolutely. Drinking beer, watching baseball every day. Absolutely. It's fucking a. That's that's the American dream the right there. The only thing he's missing is like a restaurant, which is another thing that we love, right? Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, in my retirement, yeah, pills, martinis, and a restaurant. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I am good to go. And maybe one big diamond, because you need to have the big diamond. If you're wearing a muumu. You need to have a big diamond to kind of feminine. You can get a CZ for to that. To keep it you don't like need a diamond. keep it feminine, you know, because yeah. I'll be real. You can get a big CZ for that one and call it a day. Because if I'm drinking that much and eating, yeah, moos, <laughs> but like classy ones. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kimonos even. Maybe slide over into Ooh, a kimono. You that look, could be fun. You've been known to rock a kimono on this show. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So. But in the meantime, um, I need to figure out how to live your life. Well, more more so take care of my kids until they're fucking gone, right? Like, Do you? I, I have a tip for you. I have a show you can watch at 8 o'clock on Thursday nights on CNN. If you just want to watch and uh, learn how to raise your kids, learn about the virus, and learn what you should be doing, on CNN at 8 o'clock on Thursday, this was just announced, um, you will learn everything you need to know, and I think you'll be able to solve all of your problems and the rest of the world's. Uh, they were doing a, this is just announced right now, CNN is doing a global town hall coronavirus facts and fears panel hosted by Anderson Cooper and oh, Sanjay fun. Gupta, right? Oh, fun. Pretty respectable. Sure. Um, there's going to be four guests on the panel. Hmm. Um, you want to take a stab at who's in there? Fouch? No, but you're close. Greta Thunberg. Oh, Thunberg. Is going to be on the panel. Thundog. For the coronavirus facts and fears. <laughs> the 16-year-old from fucking Sweden who, let's face it, the only goddamn country in the world who has figured out the coronavirus is Sweden. Right. They kept everybody working. What the fuck is she going to say? What is she going to say on there? Their little fucking mm, mashed up face. What are you going to say about the coronavirus? That everyone went to work in Sweden except for old people and people with respiratory problems? And your economy's fine? What the fuck are you going to say? And how are you going to get there? Are they going to zoom her in? Or is she going to take her fucking Viking boat across the ocean in New York to I'm get sure on this panel? I'm sure she's zooming. Huh? I'm sure she's zooming. One would think, I guess. I guess everybody's on fucking Zoom now. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know. I, I hope she's on the bow of her little fucking Viking boat. Just, uh, the world is, what is she going to say? What is this 16-year-old fucking little dork going to say about the world that I should sit down at 8 o'clock with my family on prime time? This is when Friends and, and the Cosby Show used to air. Bad example on that Cosby Show because he raped right. a lot of people. Right. Um, but what is Greta Thunberg at 16 going to mm -hmm. say to the world? Eh, here's what you need to know, everyone. No, I think she's just going to add a lot of passion and entertainment. Oh, she's going to add a lot of this. Uh, she's like a little tiny John Gruden. Uh, and, that, and that little grindy voice she has, you might as well put a fat lollipop in her hand. We represent a lollipop man, a lollipop man. Here's what I think about the coronavirus. Nothing. You think nothing about it because you're 16 fucking years old and you're not at risk. And neither is anybody else your age. There's been, what, four people who've died under the age of 20 in the entire world? Yeah, let's put, let's put Greta Thunberg on there. Fuck. Let's put Chewbacca Mom on there. Um, let's put that, that giant baby that's gone viral that looks like the linebacker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be fun. Put him on the panel. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. They're all experts. Yeah. Um, let her talk. Let the Chewbacca Mom talk through the fucking mask the entire show. That would be a hoot. Takashi? <laughs> Yeah, put Takashi six nine on there. He's not Zoom worried. Him in. No, he's not worried. Fuck. He's not worried about anyone knowing where he is or what he's doing. He so. will do it from his front porch with his fucking address right behind him. Put him on. Yep. Why not? They're all. Everybody's an expert now, right? I think we're all fine. CNN. If you're gonna put Greta Thunberg on shit like this, you might as well just hire her and put her on everything. She's an expert. Mm -hmm. Just a global expert, Greta Thunberg. 
Are you fucking shit in my <sighs> pants, dude? Nico said Octomom. Yeah, put <laughs> mom on Who there else? with her eight kids in the background running around being like, ah, oh, the pandemic, right? It's crazy. I can't even make fucking masturbation videos for fans only. That's what she does now, by the way. Um, Octomom? Yeah. Good for her. Good for I'm her. I'm considering doing uh, feet stuff. So. Uh, foot stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a big market. Big market, big money. Money, especially if you run. Like as a runner, too, if you get a little sweat in there, they pay extra for dirty socks. And if you if you put a, a very just pi- it's just pictures, but yeah. Well, you want to make the big dollars, James. No, because that's a slippery slope. You right? gotta write a story that goes with it. The people that are writing, have you heard about this? The people who are writing stories of what happened in their socks, those are the ones making top dollar. Oh, okay. Where it's just like, hey man, I ran, you know, two point two three miles for the Aubrey kid today, and then that's boom. Here's that here's that sock oh. from that day. Like the more detailed you are about it and why and what you were doing. The more that that gets people off, oh okay. Because now you're getting into backstory. Oh okay, cool. I'll do that. Yeah. So I mean, because you're a runner, mm-hmm. you know, go for an eight miler and then just pop that in a Ziploc bag and say, "Here's what happened today, and here's where I was." Oh okay. I, I ran past uh, what's that? The Scotchman yeah. gas station. Yeah. I ran past the Scotchman. I saw two dirt bags right. staring at me. I stared at them and I kept on running. Yeah. My feet were pounding the pavement. All ten toes gripping the asphalt, you know, like mm-hmm. shit like that. You can really jack this up. You can get thousands for it. Okay. Um, and you know, I don't think there's a bad way to be a parent anymore. Would you be cool with that? If you, yeah, if you, if you wanted to. Obviously, we don't need the money, but um, if like that was your own personal kink mm-hmm. to snap you out of your depression, mm-hmm. yeah, I'd let you do it. I'd help you write the stories. What do you mean snap me out of my I'm depression? A, I'm a New York Times bestselling author for Christ's sake. I could write the fuck out of a good foot story, Jabes. There you go. I could make you, because there's another thing with, with uh, fear and deers. Or no, what we were talking about it yesterday. Uh, Alec, what was the thing on Drinking Bros with the, with the fear? People are getting blood from people who are uh, afraid to, like, they have fear right before they die, and then they're injecting that blood inside of them. Oh, it, it's chrome something. Adrenochrome, there it is. Uh, adrenochrome. Yeah. Like, we get that, we start to add those elements to it, I think you can go through the roof. Yeah. Of, like, as you're running on your journey going through the woods, you were like, I thought I heard a man behind me. The fear was so heightened that I, mm. I, I was unaware of my surroundings. And then it's just yeah. like, oh, boy. Now you're jacking up that price. Right. You know? 2000 to 3000 The fear overtook you. Mm-hmm. Maybe you peed your pants out of fear. Boom, that drips down into the sock. 5000 5000 for the socks. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is if you needed something like that to overcome the depression right now, I would be, I would be down for it. It's not depression. It's, uh, well, that's what you said on the show, so I didn't... Well, no, it's just a borderline breakdown. Okay, but because so it's of... it's not so much like uh, depression. It's more just like on the verge every day of a full-blown breakdown. Breakdown, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Because of what's going on around you. Nervous or otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, mainly just because of, I can't uh, go to a restaurant. <laughs> Isn't that so sad? It's so sad, but that is pushing me into a full-blown uh, nervous, like on the edge of a nervous breakdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I get it. I get it, Jabes. I mean, seeing videos, uh, who is it, Dakota? Mm-hmm. Dakota and his buddy that were going that went to a bar and like Meyer, saw yeah. his friend like playing live music and yeah. there was like people around. I was In like Texas. That almost pushed me over the edge. But I equate it to you know when you're on a plane and yeah. this happens every time now. So you can literally just say when you're on a plane. It doesn't need to be like and those kind of flights where they spend yeah, yeah. two hours on the tarmac. But when you fly, mm-hmm. anytime. Yep. And you're you're on like minute 49 of being on the tarmac right where they're like oh we're about to take off and you you know they've told you that since minute three Mm -hmm. now you're minute 49 and you're just about to get up lose your mind get kicked off like all of that like just about to Mm -hmm. and then the, the plane starts moving a little bit that's where I'm at do you know what I mean yeah that moment right when you're about to like look around and be like what the fuck right and like totally understand how people like lose their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then right at that moment is when the plane starts moving. So I think that's what Texas did. Right. Good for them. 
Because, <laughs> like, they were about to, like, everyone was about to, right? You, this Get morning, up. you were like, let's just pack up and go. Let's just load up the, the I was like, an RV and just go there. Like, I gotta, you got to go to a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I get it. Is that sad? Nah, it's not sad. It's sad because, like, is that really the 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 only thing? I, I, I you you are the only one that knows that. But yeah, if you need me to write feet stories for you, I'm in. Sure. I'm in. Sure. Uh, we who we who do we have on? We had a, a maybe three months ago. We had Christmas Abaddon mm-hmm. on the show, uh, and she talked about uh, that as well. Of like, do you know how much people are paying for this type of shit? And she said. She was like, did you know what WikiFeed is, by the way? WikiFeed? What's yeah. this? Uh, it is a celebrity feet site where someone has compiled thousands and thousands of pictures of celebrities' feet. Oh, okay. There's also a comedian. I forget her name, but mm-hmm. every picture on Instagram, yeah, anything she ever does, she blurs out her feet. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and it's just like this thing that she's always done. Like right? she was on she was finally on Rogan and they like pulled out it? I'm gonna have to find it now. But they pull out, she's on Rogan, they pull out and she's blurred her feet. Uh, so <laughs> Yeah. When we do sponsors, try to find who that is. But anyways, uh, with so Christmas good. Abbott, she goes, look at how many pictures are on there. So we were live on air and I was like, hang on, I'll, I'll pull this up. Three million five hundred thousand. And they were talking about what type of day her foot was having in there. So, oh, OK, OK, OK. It could be on to something. Yeah. That's the funniest shit I've ever heard, though. Homegirl's blurring out her feet. It's so good because it's really good. Annie What's her name? What is it? Annie oh, Annie, Annie Letterman. Letterman. Yeah. Annie Letterman. It's I wonder if really I, funny. I that name sounds familiar. Yeah, like I feel like I've seen her before. She's kind of like a fringe comedian, not like super famous, but right, 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 right. L E D, yeah, yeah, I got her. Um, yeah, I know who this is. Um, that's really fucking. She kind of looks like Eliza Schlesinger. Uh, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, only like more of like a six version of it. <laughs> You said that, not me. Not six, like the character on Blossom. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not a six, but the character on Blossom where the arms are a little shorter, <laughs> the torso's a little longer. You know what I'm saying. Not I, I quite do now, a dwarf, but, but man. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying a six. I never, I've never rated a girl in my life. Not from one quite to ten. a dwarf, dude. Holy it's shit. It's not, James. but you look at her and you know something's yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Something's off. She's Just got proportion wise. Uh, little tiny T Rex arm. Yeah, 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 y
<laughs> well, you know you can shave your toes, James, with a manscaped uh, razor over there. I don't know how good that actually, would work. You actually can. Um, Does it, it get that close? Yes. Oh, so okay, you can okay. take the guard off. Oh, uh, all and right. And it's a little tiny razor. It's fucking amazing, that thing. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, for real. Um, and that's that's uh, one of our sponsors this week is Manscaped.com. Promo code REVOLUTION for uh, 20% off there. Look, man, this is for uh, all the gentlemen and their balls, uh, which is nice, dude. Balls. You can shave those balls, the gooch, your taint. Everything and it really is uh, a kit for your ball bag. And it sounds like kind of a joke or hokey, but it's but it's really not. actually like nice ass classy looking product. Like, super high end. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh shit! It's one of those things that, dude, you, you just buy one kit and you are fucking good, dude. Um, yeah. And it comes with everything in it. I was really shocked by the box. And we had a guest, uh, another guest on Ray Cash Care, who was great. He was going to come back. He's going to do Drinking Broettes mm -hmm. in a couple weeks. I fucking love that guy. And, and we're going to have him back on Drinking Bros as well. Um, I think that's next week, by the way, uh, the 19th. So book that with Tiffany. But um, he's awesome. And we gave him a, a, a thing live on air. And he shaved oh, he off all like, of his pubes. And then oh, he blew on them air. on D'Anthony Holloway. Cool. Yeah, yeah, and that's a fun little video that's Well, it seems like something viral. Dan would really like. Loves it, loves it. Dan did not flinch during all of it, though, which was hilarious. No, I wouldn't think he would flinch, but... Um, um, didn't even... He did... They The internet, though, did, it, like, catch him stealing a glance of, uh, of Ray's at, dong, yeah. Looking at the penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah and the balls. Um, but, like, how do you not do that, though? Do you know what I mean? Look, it depends on who you are. I... I love that shit. Obviously, I love male nudity. I looked, I don't know, maybe 15, you love 34 that times. Shit. It, it, nothing makes me laugh harder than that. You like doing that and walking your dog, right? Yeah. Yeah, walking someone else's dog. Um, but when Ray did it, it was the best. So I gave him a kit on the show. Uh, he's all shaved up. And uh, go to manscapes.com. Promo love code REVOLUTION for 20% off. It is well worth it. Next up, we got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, Jabes. Ooh. Yeah, 25% off. 25% off and... Uh, Free pillows. It's getting hot, starting to get into the summer. And um, rights. I don't want to brag, but I myself am a sweaty Betty. And <laughs> I need a cooling mattress, mm -hmm. which Ghost Bed is. So getting into the summer, do we need to slam the door? I'm not sure. Eh, when you're that powerful, you know, um, you, you just can. He, yeah, no. Getting okay. into the summer. Yeah, so you need to cooling pillows, mm -hmm. cooling mattress. Yes. It's good all the time, but more importantly, in the summer. So get on it now. It'll be, I think they're still delivering really quickly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, you, you should. Within 24 hours. So I, I talked to them yesterday, and I go, hey, man, are you guys affected by any of this? And he goes, no. We're not in California. Right. We're shipping within 24 hours. You'll mm -hmm. have your mattress in 48 to 72 hours tops. Mm -hmm. um, and it's true. A uh, friend of mine just got one like Friday, and it came on Monday. I mean, it was he was like, Jesus Christ, because I thought everything was slowed down. I was like, they don't go through Amazon. You go through the site. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today, and they get that shit out the door within 24 hours. So right. it'll be at you quick, and it's in a box. Corona free, and you get two free pillows with it. As always, the 36-month page you go program with no interest is applicable with all of these deals. So if you're going to do it, do it now. Uh, next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com, Jabe. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers, brother. Uh, Strike Force Energy is uh, four amazing flavors: no carbs, no sugars, and it keeps you it keeps you jacked up for more than five hours. What would you say? How long does this last for me? Strike Force. Yeah. Uh, definitely five hours plus. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Five hours plus, and then Maybe. when you mix it with your truly, because you're a truly girl, I'm a little truly girl. Ooh. Um, you could handle about two packets yeah. and just keep it going all day long. I love it, man. I fucking love it. I've got a subscription. I've had it forever. I get a 40 pack sent to my house once a month. You can do that. Here's the thing. I don't know if they want me saying this. I don't really give a shit. It's cheap as fuck. Like, Straight Force is cheap as fuck, and it's great. Because you can buy, like, cans of Monster or something, uh, but it's got sugar, and then you're you know spending, what, I think it's like $2.99 a can or something like that. The, these shits is like a, a buck twenty nine, 
I think yeah. it, like in bulk crate, it's like a dollar. Yeah. Uh, cheap as fuck, man. And it goes in any liquid available. It doesn't matter. Even if you're boozing all weekend, which, let's face it, it's going to be nice. Weather's going to be hot this weekend. You're going to be boozing a lot. You're going to need to maintain that energy. Uh, Got to get wet. Go to strikeforceenergy.com today. Promo code REVOLUTION gets you 20 percent off Ooh. there last but not least expressvpn.com forward slash revolution what's up jabes nothing hey, who's making noise over there nope, there's a lot of nobody. noises going on in the studios is that you alec you're you goddamn right Ooh, i hear everything slip. i'm your like santa slip. uh look you need a vpn it's a seamless app that runs in the background of every single electronic device you have Go get one now because China's trying to steal your shit. Get yourself a virtual private network. There you go. Boom. Uh, and it's only seven bucks a month. If you sign up for the year, you get three for free. Best in the biz. Go to expressvpn.com forward slash revolution today uh, and get that shit. Also, also, Jabes. Um, look, man, they, they, you can break through your firewalls, watch porn, you know, everything else. Right. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I was looking at it now. I was like, man, you can do whatever you want on there. Uh, I tested out the Netflix thing. That's yeah. That's why I was looking at my computer. What'd you watch? It fucking works. Nice. I'm going to tell you what I watched, James. Oh, okay. Now I've got secrets, too, with Netflix. Ooh, wow. Well. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Go to expressvpn.com forward slash revolution today and sign up. Um, want to talk about the, the Red Lobster thing again. They released the footage uh, today from uh, the mom going ballistic at Red Lobster, <laughs> punching an employee during those Mother's Day riots. Uh-huh. It's 100% what you thought it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100% what you thought, 100% disturbing, mm -hmm. 100% you can't tell whose side you're on. Like, mm -hmm. it's really just a a whole, like, I get both both sides of, the, of frustration. Um, I don't get the woman's, to be honest with you. She, it's there's a lot more that goes along with that you know it's like when you fight with your husband it's not really about that right. it's about all the <laughs> stuff that's happened in the relationship right i guess so so her doing that uh -huh. was like there was so much more attached to it Oof. it was like she hadn't been out it was the first time she was good you know it was mother's day she was probably disappointed like all the shit and yeah. she was just like she had a breakdown yeah she's also super white trash uh, i want to point i'm that just out. saying you know she was brought Gone like a sim. She was brought to that point. Was she? Yes, by everything that's going on. Uh, and they said her full name in the video, so I'm sure she's gonna have fun forever uh, with this one. Who said it was the employees say it, already. or she said it? Uh, it, she said it. She, she goes, says I it. want my refund then. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. My name is like Karen yeah. Hill or something like that. Uh, I <laughs> you it's your most the basic name. white woman name yeah. of all time. I think it was Karen. Yeah, my name is Karen Hill. I, uh, think, I think it was Karen something. Susan. Yeah. Karen Susan. Karen I Susan think. Hill, whatever it was, man. <laughs> I was just like, holy shit. Yeah. Um, it was rough. Again, like I said, it was just disturbing because I was just like, dude, this is it. Like, this is the frustration of the people that work there. Yeah. Because, like, dude, they could have <laughs> they could have let her in, like, figured something out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there was a there was a couple things around the block. For sure. Here's where she lost that, her shit. That she had been waiting for three <laughs> hours. Like, I don't know why you did any of this. Wait, wait. Do you hear how long the line was? She goes, I've been waiting for three hours for my food. That's what I just said. No, I yeah. know. Yeah. Why are you at a Red Lobster? That's what I mean. For three hours. For three hours. Like. Yeah. But that was it. That was what she wanted. Like, we're not getting like, again, I've told you, like, if there's a restaurant open and I need to wait five hours outside to get inside and eat, apparently I'm going to do it. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. so. She was waiting. This is what she wanted. It was Mother's Day. That's what she wanted. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. She waited for three hours and got to the front and had a complete and total <laughs> mental breakdown, one of which I under completely understand. <laughs> I completely understand, Karen. Like, we are Karen. Oof. So, if you go and look at this video, it's about two, two minutes and, and 12 seconds um, of just like, oh, boy. This is, this is exactly what's going to keep happening. There was like punches, chokeholds. Yes, everything. Hair pulls. 
Um, this is what's going to happen in every single state yeah. as this bullshit continues. Yeah. So buckle up, kids. You're going to see a lot more of this. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to get worse, I have a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about a real disturbing story that uh, is crazy. And I don't know if an arrest will be made uh, for this. Remember when T.I. talked about his, his daughter and the fucking her hymen and everything? Yeah, about keeping I do. her virginity in check, right? I do. There's a, another rapper named Lil Boozy who I've talked about before in the past. I don't really know what what he raps, but mm -hmm. online, he's a big following and does all this fucked up shit, mm -hmm. right? He was the first one that was given uh, strippers or anyone, moms, uh, daughters, cousins, anything. If they would get nude on his Instagram live, he would cash app them money. Mm -hmm. um, so he was one of the first ones doing that. Uh, now on social media yesterday, he said, um, I've paid for my 12 year olds to get their dick sucked. 12 year old boys, because I he want them to become men. That? Yes. 12 years old. Yeah. Pretty fucking graphic. Uh, uh obviously 13, the, maybe. the, the, <sighs> Just joking, dude. What age is that? What 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 grade are you in at that point? In for when you're 12? 12? No, it's six, to 12. A six it's sixth grade, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sixth grade's a little much. I don't think I was six going into seventh. Yeah. That's crazy, man. No, it's it's insane. So he and these were adult women. So that he was paying and he's like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to make them all men. Mm. So, uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. you know, I want them to be mm -mm. men. There's you know, I'm raising men in here. stuff going on here. Yeah. yeah. Not only yeah, from the yeah, women, yeah. but him from as well. Him, from him. If you're yeah. soliciting mm -hmm. oral sex for your fucking 12-year-old boys. Um, oh, God. Yeah. Okay, so what's going to happen to this I fucking I weirdo? I wonder. Like, I don't know what th what what this is. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because the T.I. thing, there was nothing that happened. Uh, yeah, but that was, uh, it was more uh, creepy than it was illegal, right? So, mm -hmm. like, he was, it was more of the thing of, like, dang, like, uh, your dad doing that? Like, going to the gynecologist with you and asking, you know, the doctor certain questions? Like, right. that, you know, before you're 18, like, you're parents can kind of know that stuff right so it's it was gross and weird and really crazy yeah but it wasn't necessarily illegal you know yeah this i is <laughs> so i don't know uh, man that, this one just this story just felt gross today but i was like come on man is this where we're at no i don't think so that's where he's at, and something's I probably going to happen, but we are not there. No, no, no. I, I just meant just as a as fucking a society, society. No, 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 no. Like, we aren't. God damn it, man. No, we aren't. It's just them. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, 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 Good. yeah. yeah. Just something's, making, something's going to happen. Just, I'm, I'm just making sure. Just needs to snowball a little bit. Like, enough people need to, like, talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because even the TI thing, it went big enough that if there was something illegal there... Something would have been happened, but right? there wasn't. Yeah. It was just fucking weird. Yeah, it was it was really, really fucking weird. But really, really weird and inappropriate isn't necessarily illegal. Right. This one This one is. It is. Uh it definitely is. Um last but not least, I want to talk about uh Howard Stern on the show today. Okay. Love Howard Stern. Sure. Uh, he's the he's the godfather of all of this shit, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. First one to do it. They're the only reason podcasts and everything else exists uh, in this space. Uh, he was the first one to be able to talk, you know, openly about fucking everything. Everything across for hours the, on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Across the airwaves. And, uh, you know, I, look, I've said this for a long time. He's propping up Sirius XM. Mm -hmm. If he leaves there, mm -hmm. it is over with and they're going to have to sell. I'm, sure. I, I'm telling you, this is what's going on behind the scenes. Right. Um, they can barely pay their employees. They're trying to get everyone and their mother in there. Uh, they they backed up the truck for Andy. Andy Cohen's on there. Yeah. Um, so, so they're trying to slowly find replacements. Mm -hmm. I'd heard behind the scenes, because he's getting $100 million a year for five years, and I believe this is the second five-year deal he's done, Stern. Mm -hmm. And he had shares in the company, which he sold the second that contract ended. 
sold all of his shares in Sirius XM. Okay. Um, this was a long time ago. That's scary, but yeah. Yeah, but this was like six years ago and, uh, you know, didn't keep one share. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Yeah. Um, I heard they offered it to Joe Rogan. I heard he said no. But Joe's making $90 million a year in his own house, so why does he want to move to New York and have sponsors that he doesn't want and X, Y, and Z? He's only $10 million under. At that point, it's like... W- w- it's about your own personal happiness, right? Yeah. So I think they paid Andy Cohen mm-hmm. to try to see if he was going to be the guy. Um, I don't listen to Andy Cohen that much. Do you pop over there? Often? Sometimes with Sirius, but he has How the is he? same. He has the same sort of model in that he kind of just talks about everything and nothing's off limits, and you know. Yeah. Uh, so we his show on Watch What Happens Live. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's that's good. But it's a 22-minute show. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I like, do not want to listen to Andy Cohen for fucking hours and hours and hours. Andy Cohen wouldn't cross over, whereas <clears throat> Howard Stern, kind of everyone from every walk of life, likes him, right? Or respects him. Mm-hmm. They um, didn't for a second, but now everyone's kind of come around to be like, yeah, well, love him or hate him. He's the one that did the this guy, and this and this, right? And he's changed, right? He's changed as he's a person. Changed. He does not. He doesn't do the crazy shit anymore. Right. Like us, you and I, we could fill in that slot pretty goddamn easily. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think he's on for four or five hours a day. You're mixed in with celebrities and commercials and, and some yeah, other yeah. shit. So like, eh, not that hard of a gig. However... We clearly don't have the, I mean, we only have 2 million listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, we do not have the stern audience to do something like that. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're going to have to groom somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That being said, I don't know who that person is. Yeah. And if they exist, uh, because most of the podcasts I listen to um, or have tried to listen to are all fucking pussies. Right. Um, but stern is, it, it seems like he's at this point trying to get himself out of there. Um, okay. So... He said yesterday, which was pretty shocking, and, and this is going around today, um, that he goes, he's asking for Donald Trump to resign. Um, and he's saying, hang on, he goes, the people that vote for Trump, he goes, not only does he hate them, I hate them. Um, and he goes, uh, he goes, behind the scenes, if you ask Trump, he would rather just hang out with celebrities all goddamn day um, at Mar-a-Lago, and uh, and he mm-hmm. goes, I would respect him if he resigned, and we would become friends again because I guess they were friends back mm-hmm. in the two thousands, mm-hmm. and he was always on the show, right? And he goes, I would be friends with him. I would sit down and have a dinner with him if he would just resign and give me a hug and say that this was all for show because right. both of us are showmen, and that's all that is. Mm-hmm. The the comment that stood out to me was of that section it wasn't the Trump thing necessarily. It was the fact that Howard Stern says I hate those people as well, and it was like, hey man. That is 50% of the country, 55% of the country, right? Right. They are probably the majority of your listeners. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. So you're saying he just doesn't care anymore. He doesn't seem like he cares anymore. And he's just looking for ways out. Or at the end of this deal, he's just going out in a blaze of glory saying, fuck it to the world. Yeah. His change has been so drastic from where he's, who he started as to who he is now that Mm -hmm. it's like, Man, the old Stern would have loved, loved to have a Trump in office. I'm like, yeah, fuck the system, and it's rad. Yeah. The new guy who's, the new Stern who is super rich and out of touch and has 27 cats in his fucking house. Right. And is married to a hot young wife. Uh-huh. Um, does now, now he doesn't want any part of that or that audience and people like that. Because we, cause according to him, he hates people like that too. Mm. That's pretty crazy. Right. That's who built Howard Stern. Yeah. It was the real New Yorkers. It wasn't, is that what they're it wasn't the people in Wall Street. Is that what they're saying, though? That's what he's saying. No, I know. But uh, have you read anything in response to that comment as far as like people being like, oh, shit. Uh, I have not. Shouldn't have done that. But oh. here's the thing. I don't listen to I don't listen to Sirius XM anymore. So mm-hmm. I, I, I canceled it out of out of all the cars. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it came with it when you got the cars. And it was just like, you know, you get a three-month trial. I'm like, well, we're renew. And it was like, no. Um, no, I have podcasts. Because <laughs> of because of how much they've gone down, they cannot afford to pay enough people to run all those stations. So those stations that I used to listen to that I liked on Sirius XM, it's just all 
they're just repeating the songs over and over again. So like I would notice like every third day it would be the same songs in a row that I heard from like 48 hours ago. And I was just like, man, am I in a fucking yeah. sim world here? Yeah, yeah. That's what I felt like in all the stations. Well, I just listened to like the talk radio on there. So it was like, same. why am I not just listening to podcasts? I, exactly. And I was the same way. Like, uh, like Shady 45 was like, it turned to sway in the morning. And I was just like, it's cool. Uh, one of the stations is now just Seacrest, like his syndicated show from, mm -hmm. from LA. Um, there's a whole Kiss FM channel and all that right. other shit. And I was just like, man. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, I started a serious XM a long time ago. Therefore I, I don't listen to Stern. I don't know where to follow him really. And, mm. uh, um, as far as the backlash for these comments, like if he, if he has turned super left, which is fine, I don't, I really don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm assuming he just doesn't care enough anyway. So like, it, it's not even trending to be honest with you today. Yeah. I caught this story last night and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, and at the look at the end of this segment on his show, he did say one that's never going to happen, um, and and he said too, Trump's going to, to steamroll and win. Like this isn't this is all a fucking fairy tale at this point. But yeah, because this is what I really wish. But uh, it's surprising to hear him go down this road where mm -hmm. I think now and this is just a guess. Like if you're looking, the, if Joe Rogan turned on the steel. And you're looking at Stern and you're like, hey, man, why the fuck am I working five hours a day when I can just work Rogan's hours two to three a day and have a podcast and make the same amount of money? Mm -hmm. I think he's probably just setting fire to the, the fucking building at Sirius XM and, and will probably have his own podcast mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, charge the sponsors the same as Rogan yep. and then be number one. Yeah, uh, for real. Like, I, I think because somebody asked me the other day uh, when we were talking about Rogan on air and um, about, you know, emailing him and shit like that. And they were like, hey, man, you'll you'll catch him eventually. And I was like, I, I won't like there's there's not enough. I'm, I'm far behind in the catalog. It's about the back catalog, too. Mm -hmm. He's like a, maybe twelve hundred episodes ahead of us now. Unless he stops or something like that. We, right. won't, we just won't catch up to him Yeah, um, because it's about your back catalog as well. And I go, you know, I, and I wrote back this listener who wrote that in, and I go, I, I think the only person, truthfully, that could probably catch up to him or do it in, instantaneously is probably Stern. Like, yeah. if Stern went to podcast and it was free, I don't know anyone who wouldn't listen to him, mm -hmm. um, including myself. I'd, I'd pop in there because he's, in my opinion, still the very best interviewer there is in radio. Yeah. Maybe TV. Yeah. I, I, like he's the very best interviewer of celebrities when he has guests on th there's certain guests that I will dig for clips of. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, cool. I want to see this one or this one or this one. He's still the very best doing that. And with, with his career, looking at the way that it's gone, he's been the first to do everything, right? He was essentially kind of the first shock jock, mm -hmm. the first one to get fired. The first one to have like live shows in the street and shut things down and do all this crazy shit. He had a, a fucking wildly successful book that was number one forever. Became the king of all media. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that stretch? Mm -hmm. Was flying in on like MTV yes. movie awards with his ass yes. out and all that shit. And then he said, fuck you to terrestrial radio. Switch to Sirius XM. Mm -hmm. Everybody said that would fail. That mm -hmm. was the next thing of like, you're going to fail, you're going to fail, you're going to fail. It exploded. Sirius XM became a thing. It was all because of Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. Then he did a movie. Movie was massively successful. Number one, I love I love private private parts. Yeah, the movie was amazing. I so it was, good. It was awesome. What's left for him in the media empire? There's one thing left. It's podcasts. Yeah. If you conquer podcasts, that's it. You leave the game having conquered every single piece of media you possibly could at number one. Mm. And I think he he's the one that could dethrone Rogan if he ended up moving over in a podcast. And when you do shit like this on Sirius XM mm -hmm. or whatever. Essentially just pissing off all your listeners and knowing that it's 50%, right? Yeah. If you flip to podcasts, though, uh, you're not paying for Sirius XM. And if you're going left or, or whatever you are, and then you'll have people like me who still turn in, tune in for celebrity interviews and shit. Mm -hmm. You're massive at that point. That, that picks up the other 50 plus the other casual listeners and all that other shit. And uh, I think that's got to be the move, right? Yeah. I think it's got to be the fucking move. I can't believe he's still there, but I guess he has. It's a hundred million a year. Yeah, well, that's why. So, 
Um, I, I'm, I don't know how many years are left in this contract, uh, but I, it's got to be, man. Um, it's got to be the next move, right? Yeah. Uh, even Megyn Kelly, when, when she was on for, you know, their cock tease in that Tara Reid interview, and they were like, what are you going to do? And she was like, I don't want to work for a fucking medium. You know, she was like, I'm not going to work for a big anymore. corporate overlord, yes. is what she said. Which, what is that? Even if you're on U- YouTube... YouTube's your overlord, like not really. I mean, no? not not yet. I mean, we're getting close. Like, uh, look, certainly our channel is shadow banned for the guests that we've had and things like that, right? They are because it's like look I, at. But I think with Megyn Kelly, like, because they do YouTube does this thing with fame, where it's just like with famous people. Because th- th- look, they don't talk any different. We don't talk any different than your mom's house or Rogan mm-hmm. or Theo Vaughn or Fighter and the Kid or any of these guys. I, I they haven't had Alex Jones on except for Rogan, but um, that's the only thing that, that kind of stopped our channel, I think, from growing. And um, I think with Megyn Kelly, she's famous enough. YouTube still is star fuckers because they keep allowing PewDiePie back on over right. and over and over again. Right. I think they let her go and they let her monetize it, and then I think she takes that video and then flips it to audio for the podcast version, and boom, she keeps all the money herself. So. Yeah. That's probably what Stern's going to do eventually. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. But it's all very curious. When I saw that last night, I was like, Jesus Christ. It's almost like he was pouring gasoline on the building. He hasn't lit the match yet, but he's getting pretty goddamn close to ending it over Sirius yeah. XM. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, <laughs> we're going to do a revolutionary finger of the day today. Um, we are? We are. Uh, I know we, we've been doing shows every day, and uh, it's just like it's too much going on. Uh, to do that every single day, but we're going to dip back into it. Today's Stevie Wonder's birthday. <laughs> it's the seventieth. Oh, he can see colors and shapes. Yeah. <laughs> I did that the only because I wanted to hear Stevie your Wonder. You mean? <laughs> <on it. laughs> okay. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, liar! You really have done a lot <laughs> with that whole blind thing. He'll look straight at cameras. He'll find all the cameras. Look straight at them. Stevie can see shapes. Shapes and colors. Yeah. You know, he is, it's, it is hazy and it's hard to see for sure. But he's not completely blind. No, and everyone knows that. <laughs> this is the only reason I did this today. I don't know that I went through a revolution oh, no. bigger of the day. It's because I wanted to hear a Stevie Wonder rant from you. Oh, okay. Well, just go look at all of the instances. There's oh, many videos of... So good. I think it's probably called Stevie Wonder Can See Shapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and colors. Oh. <laughs> but you can look at all those videos, <laughs> and he clearly can. Uh, kids, there's UFC on tonight. Uh, we got some shit to watch. I'm amped about it. Um, go to mybookie.com. Use the promo code Drinking Bros. Double your deposits. Uh, that's gonna be fun as shit. Dana White's the fucking hero we need. Can we make if if California does split off into its own dumb state? Can we fucking have Dana White just run the whole goddamn thing and make everybody not a pussy out there? Jesus Christ! And if you are a pussy in the rest of the states, you should be thrown a life raft and just tugged in. Like yeah. a little tiny tugboat into California. Hey, man, we're going to tug in yeah. to our bullshit. Um, and just let Dana White run that whole goddamn country for a little bit. Get everybody back to where they, they should be. I Go to caning in the streets. Who was that kid who spray painted uh, in Singapore? Oh, no. You know no, exactly no, no, what I'm no. talking about. I know. Cane people in the streets. No, no, no. California. We're not going down that. A member, a member that road. Oof. We're all tired of, the, of California's <laughs> bullshit right now. <laughs> Um, but Dana White's out there putting on UFC tonight on a Wednesday. I I woke up with a an extra inch in my boner today, and I was like, "Whoa, what? The, who did that?" Did you? Was it because I, I woke up next to you? No, it's because Dana White is throwing UFC on a Wednesday. I was like, oh, "Let's see, nice. got an extra Love inch on it. that boner tonight." Love to hear it. Promo Very code nice Drinking Bros at mybookie.com. Yeah. Yeah. Bet with me. Um, we're putting all our bets up in Drinking Bros Sports, the private Facebook group. Uh, join it. Um, you can see all the bets. It was seven and one last week. Day- Dan was eight and zero actually. Uh, he picked the chick fight. I, mm. I forgot that. Interessant. Yeah, look at the footage though. I, I Dan knows I fucking won. That girl fucking won. Um, I should have been eight. You didn't. Yeah. Check the. F- 
And that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, Dan's off camera saying I won. No. Yeah. Watch the footage of that fight. I, that, my girl won. Um, I won. Hottie Karate um, or whatever her name was. Uh, Kayla, what's up, girl? You yeah. were late, but um, better late than never. Satan Claus. Ah, Satan Claus is back. We love Satan love Claus. Love a bit of Satan Claus on the boards. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Chris Beerworth, he, you messaged me, dude. I'm Look, the, the messages are at the thousands now, so we're trying um, to answer everybody. He was like, hey, man, I'd love to come and watch a show. Come on on a Thursday. We're always doing fake news. That yeah. way you can pop on and, uh, and, and see all of us. And uh, we're here. It's like th Thursday's a, a really good day. The rest of the days are kind of based on guests and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, guess sk schedules. Schedule. So, uh, pop on down on a Thursday. Fake news is always uh, up and running on a Thursday, and then uh, Ray Cash Care will be on Drinking Broettes. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. He's a fucking awesome guest. Yeah, we're gonna get him back on Drinking Bros uh, as well. Love that guy, man. Um, he's, he, not only is he hilarious, he just has great energy. And he one really of those dudes, does. you're just fucking super positive. Where you're like, right. yeah, I'm gonna go out and butt fuck the day. Right. Uh, big fan of that guy. Uh, and thanks for sticking with us uh, day in and day out. We'll be here with you through the end of the quarantine. I don't know about California. I know we've said this every single day. Um, we said it on Drinking Bros. We said it on, on Ross Patterson Revolution. I'm not sure if I can go every day for California's bullshit because then I might be going every day for the rest of my goddamn life. Right. Uh, with that fucking, oh, we better stay inside. I heard a sneeze down the hallway. Live in fucking fear if you want, California, but become your own goddamn country because the rest of us shouldn't pay for your bullshit. Uh, I'm over it, Jabes. Send a bill to fucking China if you want, California. How about do that? Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon.